I'm currently building this stand-up desk. It's quite large and it includes a full-length wooden hinge. Let me select the lid here and open it using the rotate tool and connecting the center of the rotate tool to the center of the pin and then raising it up. The inside structure of the desk includes some panel construction and drawers. I've finished the hinge in the shop this week shown here with a wooden ash pin and I have drawers to do to finish it up. The rest of this video will show how I made the hinge in SketchUp using this short length of wood that represents one segment of the rear section. I'll copy it over here and first thing to do is to edit this group and draw a line down the center line and then pushing back the notch and I pushed it back 13 sixteenths inch. The thickness is three-quarter inch. That gives a little bit of leeway. Now the center line of the pin is three-eighths of an inch back from the front edge and I'll locate the pin with the circle tool and that pin is 5 16 diameter so the radius 5 32nd and use the push pull tool to open that up throughout the hinge area here. Uh, I always like to uh, point at the center and get that center point showing in the pin area and now I can also round over the edges of the hinge barrel waiting for the magenta color so that I know I've got a tangent connection of the arc and use the push-pull tool again double clicking here double clicking here I've got some extra edges lines showing we can smooth that out by using the soften smooth command so that's one upper segment of the hinge and I need to start the lower section. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I want to make sure I've got a center point on this end of the component, or the group in this case. So to start the bottom part of the, of the lid, I'll just copy a piece of the group down here and then flip it along the green axis and then it needs to also rotate. I'll use the move tool, connect to the point there and rotate 180 degrees. I want to connect these two parts exactly so the pin is in alignment and I turn on X-ray, connect to the guide point, the center line, and connect it to that center line. And we've got a precise connection of the two halves of a segment. segment. Uh, I see that I forgot the chamfer that allows a fuller opening of the lid 
so I'll have to add that chamfer. I'm putting a 1 8 inch chamfer on getting rid of this sharp edge on the top and bottom surfaces. I'll just do the top surface and clear out that extra edge. And because these were groups, I, this one also needs the same action. Guideline down one eighth of an inch. Line tool waiting for the magenta color, push pull, double click, or no, I've got to push it back to the back surface and clear out the edge. Now the lower part of the hinge is much longer than the rear part of the lid. And so I'll just use the, wait a minute, I've got some guidelines here that I don't, I don't like a lot of guidelines cluttering up my drawing, so I'm going to get rid of those guidelines now. And then lengthen the lower half of the lid. And that makes one segment out of six. It takes six of these to complete the full length, full width of the lid. Of course, the grain of the wood has to go longitudinal top to bottom so that the hinge will be strong. And I'll copy this one segment over and connect it precisely and then I'll just type x5 five times 5 and that will add four more segments completing the full width of the lid and this is how it will be built in the shop or has been built in, in these longitudinal sections like this glued together. The front edge has a shape and I've pre-made that shape. It's uh, and I'll copy that shape down so that we can cut the front edge to give the lid that nice rounded area in the front. Now I need to flip the shape here on the red axis and those were groups so I will now explode those groups. Right click, explode right click, explode, and I can get rid of these straight lines here and I've got now the shape defined and I need to take it away from the existing part. I'm exploding all these pieces then I can use the push-pull tool Intersect could have also been used, but there's always several ways of doing things. There's some extra vertical edges here that, oh, I meant to smooth with the control key, and I just hit erase, and that caused the problem. So now I've got the control key along with the eraser to smooth these vertical edges. And we can do the same process on this side. I, everything was symmetrical. I could have just done three at a time and then copied three over. And again, there's always multiple ways of 
doing these procedures. And that completes the top. I'll make it a uh, component now, the lower it lid, and replace selected with component, yes. And then this make the upper portion of the lid a component as well. Make component upper lid and create. Yes. That completes the construction in SketchUp.